The Weekly, hosted by the editors of Pro Builder and Pro Remodeler, starts now. Prior to the health crisis, uh, affordability was an issue. Um, we also had a workforce issue, uh, and those go hand in hand. Our goal is always to make sure that whether you rent or own a home, everyone has the opportunity to have a place to call home. Uh, ownership uh, continues to be the American dream. We have to understand that for every thousand dollars a house increases in price, 150,000, approximately 150,000 people are placed out of the opportunity to own a home. Going into this year, we were a million houses short of a healthy inventory. And we knew going through this year, under normal circumstances, we were gonna fall behind another 300,000 inventory, homes in inventory that would, would help us have a healthy inventory throughout the country. Through retirement or other reasons, we're losing more and more people in our workforce. I think the average age of some of the subcontractors in our, our industry uh, is, is in the 50s. And prior to the, to the, to the uh, pandemic, we, for every five uh, people that we lose in the industry, in the workforce, we would only replace them with one. So you can see very quickly the, the crisis uh, for uh, labor was, was becoming uh, very obvious. We were given a grant from Home Depot. With this grant, we were training military veterans that are exiting the military and going back into civilian life. And uh, I was at the ribbon cutting of one of the first graduating groups that we had out in uh, Fort Carson. And it was such a, a great honor to be there and see these people. And I say young people, there were people in their 40s that, that were ending their career in the military and were becoming carpenters and plumbers and electricians. And, um, and who, uh, who, you know, who would not want to hire a military veteran to work on their job sites? The, the meetings with, the, with our young uh, professionals in our industry, uh, they're always well attended, always very energetic, and uh, have a great interest in, in the growth and the success of housing. We would never want to compromise safety for costs, but we also want to make sure that we aren't uh, putting costs in a home, that there's no return on the investment. In a, in a certain period of time, uh, so that it makes an economic uh, good sense, uh, good economic sound sense to, uh, to make these changes and, and do these things with the codes. Take advantage of the resources that we have at the National Association of Home Builders. Uh, at nehb.org, uh, there's there's just a, a tremendous amount of information that will help guide these these uh, the builders through this uh, situation that we've uh, found ourselves in, and this guidance will help navigate them through this crisis. I'm passing the word along through our publications uh, that. Immediately after taking office, I had a conversation with um, Steve Mnuchin, the Treasury Secretary, uh, Senator Mark Rubio, and Senator Rick Scott in Florida. And uh, we're stepping up to make sure that the PPP program is working properly and, and helping our industry. We all know that the American dream is to own a home, and it's our greatest opportunity to create prosperity for families safety for families, create communities, and, and even create better education opportunities for families and their children. Through, you know, when we have this, this inventory uh, is short, the demand is going up, the demand is not going away. So production has to continue. So uh, it's, uh, 
it, it's a it's a day to day battle to uh, to represent housing, but uh, it's all for a great reason. <laughs>